Hello everyone, this is group D from Solid Mechanics 2 by Professor Ha. Uh, so today we are presenting group task 5, which is a beam that is under several forces, um, several N forces, and our objective is to find Vx, which is deflection. Here we have the analysis flow charts. Uh, and in first, as a forces, we have P1, 2, 3, and till Pn. And for material properties, we have the Young's modulus, which is E, and moment of inertia, which is I. And our goal is to find the deformation, which is uh, Vx, or the deflection. And we can see that also um, both ends of this beam is are uh, clamped. First of all, before going through the steps of, uh, for solving this problem, we will go through basic theory, which is uh, about governing differential equations for beams. Um, here we can see that uh, the first step, we will just um, derive the equation relating shear force V and um, bending moment M. And um, just as a, uh, for, to clear, clear up everything, shear force it will be um, a big B, V. And then uh, we consider the beam segment with a small length DX and the inter internal force and moment acting on X are VX and MX respectively. Uh, after uh, we add uh, an increment uh, length DX and the shear force and bend bending moment will become VX plus DV and MX plus DM. As you can see uh, here, when we add everything up, we get um, by these two th these two equations uh, we get dv over dx equals negative q of x, and dm over dx will be negative v of x. And these two equations uh, by canceling ca canceling uh, the vx will give us. Um, the double derivative of m over d of x squared, which is uh, being equal to q, x, q of x. Now this is the think flow or the process in which we solved our problem. In the first step, we set basic distribution load equation using um, governing theory. Then on the second step, we find Vx, V of x, which is a uh, deflection, small. This, is, this one is a small V. So uh, we find it by doing integration four times. On the third step, we find each constant value, C1, C2, C3, C4, that will come out from the integrations in the previous step. And on the fourth step, we find the total V, V of X, which is the sum of uh, all of the deflections. And at last, in the fifth step, we do an, an, an analysis uh, using our Excel charts. For the first step, we set the uh, basic distribution load equation. So normally, the distribution load would be would be q of x, but since these p's are um, concentrated forces or concentrated loads, uh, the equation of q of x would be p times x minus x n to the power of negative one, being the fourth derivative of um, v. And we have uh, two boundary conditions, which is um, clamped, but uh, 
it is clamped on both sides, as I mentioned earlier. Uh, these boundary conditions give us this, uh, the fact that um, EIV uh, um, at zero will be zero and EIV prime at zero will also be zero. And since at the other end of the beam, um, it is clamped um, to, uh, they will be zero too. This is the second step, which is uh, finding V of X, the deflection, doing integration four times. Uh, the first equation will be Q of X, which is uh, given in the previous, uh, a previous slide, which is negative P of N, P N uh, times X minus X N to the power of negative one. The next derivative, uh, Diff, uh, integral would be the shear force uh, giving us a C1. And another integration would uh, give us this equation having uh, giving us another C2. And then the next integral would be the angle. And here we can see that we find another C3. And at last we get to the deflection, which is the fourth inter, inter, integration. And we have a fourth constant here. So here we find the value or um, yes, the value of each uh, constant we got in the four integrations in the step uh, before. First, um, we apply the boundary conditions given before, um, stating that when x equals zero, the angle will be zero. And here in this, in this equation, we can uh, cancel out every, um, every part that has x because we we just have to uh, substitute x by zero, and we end up with just having c3 equals zero. Here, uh, we do the same thing. We substitute every x with zero because um, x, this is uh, the equation of the deflection when x equals zero. And we cancel out everything having ending, ending up with C4 equals zero. Now the next thing we have to do is to find C1 and C2. We do the same thing, but this is uh, done when X equals L. And the boundary conditions are the same. So the deflection and the angle will be zero. So here we can cancel out the C3 because uh, we found out that C3 is zero. And in the second equation, we can see, we can cancel out C3 and C4. And what we do next is to subtract these uh, two equations to get the values of C1 and C2. And this happens when um, L is bigger than xn. The next thing we do is uh, find the total uh, v of x and by summing all of the deflections. Um, the uh, First we have to substitute uh, the values of every constant into the equation of deflection so that we can have a proper equation to work with. And then uh, since we found uh, the equation here for the deflection, which is EIVN of X, uh, we can end up with this equation for the total, which is uh, the sum of all um, deflections. Now, this is the chart that we, um, we made 
uh, using the equations that we found earlier. And you can see, it can be see, seen above that um, as an input, we have, uh, we had five different, um, five uh, forces, concentrated forces um, spread it evenly in one beam of total length L, in this case, six. And by that, we got the um, V1, V2, V3, V4, V5, and we total it up, getting uh, the total deflection here. Uh, you can see that uh, there are some negative signs here, and this just means that the deflection is directed downwards because the forces, um, the lows were were uh, also directed downwards. Uh, and here at last, we have the um, graph for the charts in the previous slide. We can see that, um, first of all, the whole deflection goes downward as I mentioned earlier because the forces were uh, directed downward. And we see that the deflection is greatest in the right in the middle of uh, the beam. And this can be infer inferred by the fact that uh, there is less resistant force in the middle than at the ends because uh, the ends are clamped as we mentioned earlier. Um, thank you for um, your attention and good night.